Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Monica Mallon and I'll be starting my junior year of college at San Jose State University in about a month. And since college is starting pretty soon, for a lot of people, I thought that I would start making some more college videos. So today I'm going to be talking about some of my college essentials and some things that I'd recommend bringing to college or buying for college. But before I get into that, I want to talk about some of my suggestions for where to buy these things. The first place that I would recommend is Amazon. If you've watched some of my other videos, you probably know that I'm a really big fan of Amazon and they have something called Prime Student, which gives students with a valid.edu email address six months of amazon prime for free and then after that you get it for 50 percent off so if you haven't signed up for amazon prime soon yet i'll put a link to it down in the description below they have a lot of great deals and if you live in the dorms and you don't have a car it's probably a lot easier to just get things delivered to your house rather than going out to a store and buying them the second place that i would recommend is target i'm not sure if other schools have this but my school has something called target night which is where they have buses from the dorms to a target close to campus and students can go there and buy college essentials at a discounted rate so i would highly recommend looking into that especially I love Amazon sometimes you really want to go to an actual store and look at things in person so now that that's out of the way let's get into my recommendations I actually planned this video out and I made a list on my laptop with six different categories room bathroom kitchen tech clothes and random miscellaneous things and since I only lived in the dorms for one day during orientation I also asked the people of Twitter and Instagram for some suggestions so I'm going to be including a lot of those in this video I'll be putting screenshots of their suggestions right here throughout this video so thank you to everyone who helped me out with this video some of these are more relevant for people living in the dorms and some of these are more relevant for people living off campus but I really wanted to make sure to include things for both of those situations so the first thing that I have is probably pretty obvious but it's bedding if you're living in the dorms you'll probably need to buy twin XL sheets because that's type of beds that they usually have in the dorms. The sheets that are on my bed are from that brand and I really like them and they're pretty cheap as well. So I'd recommend getting two sets of them so you can have an extra one just in case something spills on your bed. The next thing which is kind of related is a mattress pad. So many people suggest this for the dorms because the dorm beds are not always the most comfortable. The mattress that I slept on in the dorms during my orientation was really stiff and not very comfortable. So if I was living in the dorms I would absolutely get one of those. I've seen them at Target and Bed Bath & Beyond but you could probably also get them on Amazon or other online stores. The next thing that I'd recommend getting is an actual alarm clock. I usually use my phone for alarms, but I think it's good to have a backup, especially for exams. My brother got me this one from the brand Witty for Christmas last year, and I really like it because it has USB ports in the back, so you can charge your phone or tablet with this while you sleep. The next thing that I would recommend is some sort of laundry basket. I'm not going to show you mine because it's broken right now and I need to get a new one, but it's good to have some sort of laundry basket, especially if you're in the dorms and you have to use the washer and dryer in the dorm building. The next thing that I would recommend is a lint roller. I wear a lot of dark colored clothes, so this is really a lifesaver for me. You can get these pretty much anywhere. I actually have these on my Amazon subscribe and save because I use them so often. The next thing won't be relevant for people that are going to school in colder climates, but if you're going to school somewhere where it gets kind of warm, I would highly recommend bringing a fan. I've had this one for a really long time and it works really well for me. If you don't have a lot of space in your room, you can get a smaller one, but that's just the one that I have and use. The next thing is decorations. There aren't any decorations behind me right now because I'm just filming on my bed, but I do have a bunch of stuff on my walls and I'll insert a clip of that here. Having things on your wall, especially if you're living far from home, can really make your room feel more like home and feel more personalized to you. If you think you're going to miss your family or friends or anyone back home, you can also print out some pictures of them and put them on the wall. The next thing that was suggested by Mara is a clothes steamer. I don't have one myself, but I really want to get one because who has time for ironing? I literally just use a hair straightener to iron my clothes, so I really need to step up my game and get a clothes steamer. The next thing is air freshener, and this is really important, especially if you're living with someone else, because you and your roommate might not have the same standards of cleanliness, and you always want to make sure that your room is smelling nice and fresh. The last thing that I have for your room is storage containers. A lot of dorms are really small, so you might not have a lot of space to put things in cabinets, but the beds are usually a little bit higher above ground than usual. So you can get some long and thin storage containers and just put those under your bed to store things. The next category is the bathroom, which is one of the things that I would be the most scared about if I was living in the dorms. I'm really glad that I have my own bathroom. The first thing that you should bring or get for your bathroom is a shower caddy. A lot of people suggest this because most dorms have a communal bathroom for the entire floor. So you have to walk from your room to the bathroom every time you want to take a shower or brush your teeth or anything like that so it's really helpful to have a shower caddy so you can just put all of your toiletries in there and just grab it and go to the bathroom whenever you need to the last bathroom recommendation which i've heard a lot of people talk about is shower shoes if your dorm has communal showers the showers are probably going to get pretty dirty so i would highly suggest getting some shower shoes or flip-flops to wear just so that you have a barrier between your feet and the bathroom floor the next category is things for your kitchen you might not be allowed to bring some of these things to the dorms but i'm just mentioning them for people who live off campus the first thing which is pretty obvious 
audience is to bring some cups and plates and bowls and utensils. Even if you have a meal plan, you might want to eat some food in your dorm sometimes. And even if you don't end up cooking, you can still use the plates and bowls and utensils to eat cereal or oatmeal or to eat leftovers from restaurants. The next thing that I would recommend is some food storage containers. It's always good to have some containers so that you can store leftovers or bring lunch or snacks to class. The next thing that I would recommend is a water filter. I personally don't have one because I get water delivered, but if you're living in the dorms and the top water doesn't taste that good and you can't get water delivered or you don't have a car to refill the five gallon water containers, then water filter can be really helpful. And even though a lot of dining halls have unlimited soda, water is a lot healthier for you and it's really important and you should drink it. And if you don't drink water on a daily basis, you're probably doing something wrong. Next few suggestions are probably not allowed in most dorms, but I would highly recommend them to people who are living off campus. First thing is this electric kettle. This one is really nice and small. It's perfect for one or two people. I bring this with me whenever I travel so that I can make tea and coffee and oatmeal, but this would be great for the dorms if they'll let you bring it or your off-campus house or apartment. Going out for coffee or tea every day can get really expensive, so this can really help you save a lot of money. I'd also recommend a small blender if you like smoothies, a toaster oven because you can make a lot of different things with that, and a small crock pot because you can just put some stuff in there in the morning and then when you get back home, you'll have a nice warm meal ready. Next category is one of my favorite categories, which is tech. I made a video last year about my tech recommendations for college, so if you want to check that out, I'll link it down below. But I am still going to go over a few key tech recommendations. First thing is a laptop. I'm more of a desktop person. I use my iMac to edit my videos and do most of my homework. But I love having a laptop to take to class with me so that I can take notes and work on projects and homework at school. The next tech thing that I would recommend is a power strip. Most of the dorms that I've visited have had very limited outlets. This is my favorite power strip because it also has USB ports. I've had this for a few years and it's by the brand Anchor. I think I got it from Prize, but if I can find it on Amazon, I'll link that down in the description. To go along with that, I would also recommend getting some extension cords. These can be really helpful, especially if the outlets are all the way across the room from your desk or bed. You can get these pretty much anywhere and they're not that expensive anymore. So pick up some of these, you'll probably thank me later. The next thing that I would highly recommend is a power bank. I got this one from Anchor right before I started college. And this was honestly one of the best purchases I've ever made in my life. It can fully charge my iPhone multiple times and these can be really helpful if your phone runs out of battery in the middle of the day or when you're out. I'll put a link to this down in the description if I can find it. The last tech thing that I would recommend getting is a printer. I sometimes use printers at my school, but it's also nice to have one at home so I can print things ahead of time because sometimes the lines to print are really long in the mornings. You don't have to get anything too fancy. Just a basic printer will probably be fine. The next category is clothes. Obviously, this is going to depend on your personal style, but I have a few suggestions for those days when you really don't want to put a lot of effort in. First thing is a school hoodie. This one's black and it says SJSU on the front. This is really good to throw on if it gets cold or if you have an exam at 7.15 a.m. I'd also suggest having some black jeans or leggings because they match with everything. And someone on Instagram also suggested a pair of all white Adidas sneakers. I don't have those shoes myself, but I really like them and I think they go with everything. And if anyone wants to get them for me for my birthday next month, I'm a size nine in women's. I would really recommend bringing some black or white shoes because they match with everything and you can just throw them on if you're a little bit stressed and don't have time to plan an outfit. So the last category is just random miscellaneous things that I think you should bring. So the first thing that I have is just some basic cleaning supplies. It's just nice to have some things that you can use to clean up any messes that you make or your roommates make. The next thing on my list is a planner or notebook. I use a bullet journal, but you can use any type of planner that you want. I would also suggest bringing a water bottle. Hydration is important. This is a swell bottle that my friend Anisha got me for my birthday last year. The next thing that I have is an umbrella. This one's really small and it was like $2 because I have to make sure that my laptop and hair are protected at all times. The last thing that I have is just to make yourself a little first aid and medicine kit. I would suggest bringing some band-aids, some Advil or Tylenol or acetaminophen, some Dayquil and Sudafed in case you get sick, and some Benadryl if you're living that allergy life. So those are all of my college essentials. Feel free to comment anything that you think I left out down below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because I make new videos every single Sunday. If you have any other college video ideas for me, feel free to comment down below. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.